Hey guys, Bushite25 here. Back with the ICVM once again. I'm just going to look go to what that landing lag. And I've got control from here. Because today I'll be trying anyway to get this from here to the old KSC. Now Three, two, one. Oh, this is working. It's turning a lot of way. I know we have to go off kind of in roughly that direction. And see, I added an upper seat. That works. Brilliantly. I mean, now this can literally be an orbital launcher. We added some fins to the warhead itself. If we're lucky, you know, nothing will blow up on. Staging. They don't count. Is there sound delay? Have they added that? I'm going to tip kind of over and pull up ish kind of no maybe I'm doing my best to kind of push the nose down It thinks that's where I will land. Okay, no. No, sir, you would be wrong. Mm -hmm. Whoa, I mean, that's almost an overshoot, probably. But I highly doubt that's where we're going to land. There we go. Wow. I actually have to perform less maneuvering than I did last time. Add maneuver, just um yeah, just kind of tweak. And that's roughly the direction and Amount I have to go, so and then oh, <laughs> yeah, just overshot slightly. That's okay. Technically speaking, we're going to hit three different targets, so if that's like an highly inhabited area, or well, look. We have the missile that's going to hit kind of around th th there, so if that's inhabited, that's going to get hit. We want to have the warhead hit here, or around here. We want to have that, the service module hit. And yeah, the, don't trust that mission elapsed time. be a 30 second burn but towards the end I am going to throttle down I got rid of the maneuver node because you know that kind of distracts mech Jeb start throttling back because, because um, the time to land is around six minutes you know, so I'm not going to do any Cut off! Cut off! I'm sorry about the I, that. I, the fact that I panicked, but back. 
good, 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 good. See the vector, see which one it is. No, SAS off. I'm actually probably going to just keep that actually attached because that's actually fairly close as to where we want to be. So basically, I think I'm going to keep this attached. Good. We just hit the Atmo and we're going in there, so this is a rather steep ascent. I'm going to keep this attached. I hope that those will keep it kind of pointing retrograde. So that will also act as a kind of heat shield. Because we could not afford a heat shield. You should be able to see them. The building, I mean. Oh boy. I'm certain the building are in there. Yep, there it is. Well, that's actually pretty close to where we'll be coming down, so this is an actual nuclear warhead. Oh boy, not this is not the optimum re-entry vehicle in terms of survivability. Oh wow, that's actually pretty good. Now I'm going to Wow, okay, if this these suckers are dead. Especially because I have a infinitesimally tiny amount of talk which is doing nothing. But yeah, although I didn't hit any of the buildings, this would take out the space center. First try and everything. Completely destroyed. Perfect. My check is the debris of the no the SVM debris hit already. I don't know what debris that could be. Yeah, that was the second. This was the actual deployment flight of the ICBM. Instead, just the amount of warheads and that that would have destroyed it. Does anybody know if these buildings are destructible? Wait a second. Easy way to test. to have a vessel so we cannot test that but anyway that was the second flight of the ICBM I'm Bottom 25 goodbye